Hello, Orox Nation. Uh, I'm happy to be here. Uh, we're doing great and hope everyone's doing well as well. Uh, Taras, how are you doing? Doing great, man. You know, been a busy couple weeks on the on the back end. Been working yeah. on a lot of stuff, so it's good. Yeah, um, we're uh, today we're going to be going over a lot of things, um, and I'm happy that I'm happy to see a lot of people on here. Um, so I guess let's just get started. Uh, the first thing that we want to go over is going to be actually before we start going through our process. Um, at the end of the video, we are going to do a, some TA. Um, I know a lot of people have questions about the indicator still. That a lot of people have um, things about um, you know the DI and um, and our own indicators and stuff like that. So uh, if you have those questions still, ask it in the chat. Otherwise, we're probably just going to go over some of the details that we did in the previous videos. Otherwise, we'll cover some of the questions as well. So um, uh, definitely um, uh, definitely uh, put some pre your questions in the comments. That way, we can cover them uh, in the, in, at the end of this video. Uh, but for now, we're going to go over some of the details that are going to be coming up this week uh, and actually the rest of the month. Uh, the first thing that we wanted to discuss is uh, the plan that we, the proposal that we put out in Telegram, and that was uh, to transfer some of the liquidity over to the centralized exchange. Uh, we're still getting questions in the chat about when we're listing on X, Y, and Z exchange, and we want to uh, we want to rush that not just because it gives users the ability to purchase the token on other platforms, but one of the main things about um, about listing on a centralized exchange, at least some of them is uh, that the money that goes to a centralized exchange is not necessarily just money that kind of you pay the fee. Uh, most of these exchanges don't do a fee-based structure anymore. They used to in the past. It was just you paid a fee and then that was it. Um, it's kind of changed to where it's more split up into marketing and uh, liquidity. So some of the money goes into marketing and that's exactly what we're, um, what we're after. So the exchanges that we're going to be speaking or we are speaking with and the exchanges that we're listing with, one of them being uh, BitMEX uh, that we want to wrap up this week. Um, a lot of the money, actually, a lot of the, the tokens, uh, maybe not a lot of the tokens, but some of the tokens go to um, to the marketing. Um, and what they're going to do is they're going to do AMA, they're going to do uh, social media, uh, email blasts, stuff like that. So... Um, that's what we're after. We're after the marketing part and we're not really, I mean, yes, having it on a centralized exchange and allowing users to purchase without the gas fees and so on and so forth. Um, it's beneficial, but the marketing part is, is what we're really after. Um, it's a very easy way for us to uh, market the token, but then when people look at the token and seeing what it's about, they're going to go to our website. Um, they're going to go to the terminal. They're going to use the terminal and so on and so forth. Um, that's what we're after. So some of the people that have questions, you know, they don't want to transfer the liquidity to centralized exchange because that means that there's less liquidity on Uniswap and it could potentially be a little more, um, um, a little more, uh, the, the price can be a little more hectic. Uh, that's not going to be the case um, for, for multiple reasons. One, um, there's going to be more eyes on the token. There's going to be more eyes on the platform itself and the company because of the marketing. And two, we're not withdrawing our plan was never to withdraw hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's we're going to start by going in increment phases. So uh, for BitMEX, for example, they want $50,000 in, uh, in tokens and Ethereum and uh, your token um, and $50,000 is not going to impact um, uh, the price at all. Actually, uh, it's not going to impact the liquidity. I mean, out of three point, what is it? $3.2 million right now. Um, it's not going to impact the, um, um, the the token or it's not going to impact the price at all and as soon as we transfer that liquidity and we start having um, the the more eyes on the on the market and more eyes on the token that price is gonna the demand for the token is gonna rise and in essence so is the the price as well um, and that liquidity is gonna be uh, made up because of that um, Taras I mean uh, what would um, I mean, you're more of a trader on this, so I wanted to get, I wanted to uh, see about your opinion, and that way uh, more people are safer, uh, feel, feel safer about this as well. Yeah, I mean, the first thing that we should say, it's so people don't get confused. It's BitMEX now. It's AscendX. 
I believe. Yeah. So um, I know it's close to BitMEX. So I don't want people thinking that we're getting listed on BitMEX. So um, it's on Ascendex. And usually, you know, when you get an exchange listing, a lot of influencers take that news and they just start running it, promoting it everywhere because usually when there's an exchange listing coming, token price goes up. So everybody tries to hop in. So it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. So we're going to start having more, more eyes on the project, more traders, more marketing, higher volumes. So even though you know um, our liquidity is going to be slightly lower on Uniswap, it's we're going to have more more volume on the exchanges and then you can also set limit orders so you're going to be able to a lot of traders don't want to trade on uniswap just because you can't set limit orders you have to be around all day you can't set your sell orders you pretty much have to market sell so or market buy so people are waiting for the opportunity to be able to buy and sell their uh buy and set their orders so i think it should be really good for the token um I, I don't see how this can play out negatively um for our price or all that yeah. but this is and, not financial advice this is just me speaking as a trader from what i've seen on other projects yeah and you mentioned influencers and that was another thing that um we're going to be working on and we have been uh we're going to have another influencer that's hopping on board um and having that news of uh you know we're listing on bitmex and having uh and then another exchange and another exchange um, um, having that news that he can push out to his users is going to be very beneficial. Um, I mean, news uh, development is is great, uh, but news like listing on centralized exchanges, uh, partnerships, stuff like that is is even better. Um, so having um, having the ability to start really scaling up listings is going to be very beneficial to uh, getting these uh, influencers uh, talking about us, like you said. Um, I see people are asking which exchange yeah. is going to be BitMax. They yeah, just rebranded to Ascend X. I think I'm pronouncing it right, but it's not BitMax, the uh, the Bitcoin trading exchange. Um, yeah, BitMax. Um, I mean, it was one of the, was that a couple, a year ago or so? Like all the alt tokens were listing there as well. Yeah, and um, they're a really popular exchange for um, new tokens to list on, and it has good volume. I mean, we, we saw what, something half a billion dollars a day in volume. So, um, it, and their it's volume, good. their liquidity is a lot higher than um, Bilaxi and, and some of these other exchanges. So, um, I mean, there's tokens right now. I was looking at another one that was trading like 14 or 15 million. It was a recently launched token. Uh, trading like 14, 15 million dollars on, on there. So um, it's going uh, to be very good. It's going to be very beneficial uh, for the company and the price. So that's why we're, we're going that route. Um, and there was another question. How much liquidity are you going to remove? Um, it's going to be, like I said, it's going to be in increments. We're going to start with uh, $50,000 for BitMEX, BitMAX, Sendex, um, and see what happens, um, uh, you know, see what they can deliver uh, marketing wise uh, when we pass this news off to influencers how everything goes and then we'll slowly move on to uh, different exchanges um, some of the ones that we're looking for as far as tier two and three goes um, i think that was up bit um, pro bit some of these other some of these other ones but we're not going to be making a decision um, to transfer liquidity unless it is helpful from the marketing standpoint uh, if it's going to help push the token and push the product, uh, the terminal to more users, that is where our benefit comes from. It's not from, oh yeah, we're listed on hundred exchanges and then there's nothing going on. No one, still no one knows about our, our platform. Um, so that's that's our what we're gonna be doing and this is gonna happen very soon. Um, the pre preliminary poll showed that a lot of people are in favor of it uh, but I, like I said, that was a preliminary vote. A real vote is going to take place on either Monday or Tuesday. And we're trying to figure out exactly how to do the vote. Uh, it will most likely take, um, it will most likely be based on your address and we're going to incentivize people to vote. Uh, it's kind of hard to get everyone on the same page. So we're going to incentivize them by, um, you know, we'll probably purchase some tokens off the market and then distribute those, some of the like one or two tokens for everyone that votes. Um, we're, probably airdrop it to everyone that votes uh 
Um, and this is going to be purchased by us directly from the market. So it's not, you know, our team tokens or anything like that. Um, it's going to come directly from the market. Um, so uh, you'll probably receive an email, Telegram, Discord, all these notifications about the vote. Go and vote. Um, it will only count if you've, uh, if you already are holding, staking, or liquidity mining tokens uh, basically today. Um, we don't want people just jumping on there, buying a token, and then dumping it back on just to get that free token. So if you don't own any tokens unfortunately, today, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to take part in, in the voting uh, system. And it will also be dependent on how many tokens you owe, uh, the weight, uh, because we don't want someone that purchased, let's say, 2,000 tokens uh, when we launched. Their vote is going to count a little more than someone that purchased 10 tokens. Uh, and I think that's uh, a little fair because they've invested a lot more money in our company and they have a lot uh, a lot more say um, into what's going to happen. Um, okay, I guess let's answer a few questions and uh, we'll go back to the next part of the video. Um, where's Joe? We actually fired Joe because he talked too much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, seriously, if Joe's watching, we love you. And um, he's actually uh, has some personal stuff to uh, to do today so he will, can join um but he'll be on probably the next video that we go over um finance account um tars do you want to handle this one and then i'll handle the next uh yeah let me share my screen and then we can let me go through it um let's see i'll answer a few questions as well Okay, so there was an, uh, or actually you have it pulled up, so. Cool, okay, so the first step would be going into your Binance account and going into the security settings. I can't log into Binance and, um, from the US, but what you would do is you would log into Binance, um, get their API settings, your API key and your secret key, and then you go in here, I'll click on the settings, and you click add account and then you select binance and you just plug it in here um it's yeah. a pretty straightforward system there there there's nothing that you have to uh that you really have to do or set up it's just copy and paste the keys from binance directly into here and it's it's good to go um yeah so the other thing is um uh, binance and trading uh the actual ordering functionality is only available through the grid version for now. It will be migrated to the light version. We only released the light version like a couple of weeks back. So um, it's going to be available um, through the light version. But for now, it's just grid version. Um, let's see. So um, our indicator right now is not uh, does not use machine learning. We back tested it. Um, it's been we actually ran it through a, um, a back tester and uh, our developer also tested it across um, uh, across the basically across the entire Bitcoin and Ethereum market, and that's where um, that's where we got our stats from. But we are we have been. I mean, he was like probably halfway done through a uh, AI based indicator, but we had to pause with everything that was uh, happening. Uh, we're hoping that we can resume at the end of this month, um, and hopefully, we we'll release an AI version of it. Uh, and the AI version of it is going to actually take into account multiple different indicators and optimize based on that. Um, so it's not just going to be one set algorithm. It's going to be basically its own kind of proprietary solution. Uh, I, I mean, AI is way above my head. Um, he might be better uh, to talk about this, but uh, from what I know, basically we'll train the system and then the system itself will be able to predict price movements. And uh, we're specifically training it on the lower intervals um, because that's where uh, the AI system will come into play. Um, it's uh, um, the AI system will come into play. Um, the the higher interval is the one day and one week we'll, we'll keep the Orox indicator as is. Um, so that won't change because it's, I mean, it's 70% plus uh, accurate and it just doesn't really need any um, AI for that. Let's see. Yeah. And um, I guess we'll go into the next part because um, I want to kind of get through everything and then we'll do the questions uh, afterwards. 
Uh, the next thing that I wanted to cover is people are having issues setting up uh, alerts on uh, the indicator. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that using Integromat, um, how do you kind of set it up using your emails and so on and so forth. So let me share my screen real quick. Okay. So um, obviously the first thing that needs to be done is you have to have the URS tokens, you have to have your wallet linked, um, and then you just go to scanner, uh, click on alerts, and uh, my wallet's already connected, but if it's not, you'll kind of see a dialog that says uh, connect uh, your wallet. And then um, you'll be able to enable alerts, um, you know, just enable them. Uh, confirm just means, uh, obviously we've talked about this, there's a guide actually right here. If you click on the guide, it'll take you to the guide and it will discuss what confirmed and everything means. I'm not gonna go over that in this video um, because there's guides everywhere about that. Um, and then you will just select your coins um, your intervals, uh, your email alerts, and then your webhooks. The webhooks part is probably what people are having issues with. They want to send alerts to Telegram, Slack, um, three commas, things like that. So the easiest way to do it is, you know, we recommend Integromat because it's free. Uh, I think it's free for up to um, a thousand um, triggers uh, a month, which is probably more than enough for most people. If it's not upgrading it to 10,000 is only like three or four dollars a month or something like that. Um, and then you will just enable the webhooks uh, right here. Now this webhooks uh, request, this can be modified using other JSON uh, data. And again, the information is uh, right here on how to set those up. But for most people, you don't even need to worry about that. You just keep it as is. Um, and then you will sign up for an Integromat account. Um, I already have mine set up. Um, go to scenarios, and then you'll create a new scenario. When you create a new scenario, you'll be brought up to this screen. You'll just type in webhooks, hit webhooks, continue. And then um, you'll do custom webhooks. So this button right here, custom webhook. Now from here, you'll just click add. You'll name it anything you want. Save and the webhook is set up. Um, I won't uh, test it right now. I'll actually set up the rest of it. From here, you can send this webhook, the request that comes in to literally anything. I mean, they support, um, I mean, they support like hundreds of different, some of them are paid, some of them are not. You can send it to your Excel sheet on Google Sheets. You can send it to Telegram. You can send it to Slack. Uh, I mean, it's, basically everything. Um, so we'll just set it up to send to Slack, for example. Um, and then it gives you an option to, depending on which module you pick, each module has different uh, things. Um, for Slack, it's just create a message. Um, and then you will connect your um, Slack account and you can connect it from uh, clicking that, and then it'll actually take you through to signing into your workspace. Um, if you're on Telegram, you'll have to actually set up a bot, and I'll show you that as well. Um, but since I already have it set up, I'll keep it there. You will select from the list, and then um, you can select public or private channel, and you can select the, the, the channels um, that you want it to send to. Um, so I'll just keep it like that. And then this text is where the webhooks is gonna come from. So to get that text, we'll go back, let me close out of this one. We'll go back to my webhooks, copy this address right here, go back to Aurox, type it into the URL field and hit test webhook. And it will send, it will send that webhook to, um, and you can see it actually received it as well. Um, and when it receives it, you can, Actually, one sec, I think you have to run it. Uh, I might have to delete this first. Um, oh, sorry, that was wrong. So once you, um, um, once you type this in and then hit uh, test webhook, you'll, you'll click this redetermine data structure and then click the test webhook again and you can see that it determined the data structure. Now we can create a new module, hit Slack, create message, 
select your channel. And you can see right here, it's already determined what information that webhook is receiving. So pair is obviously the pair. Time unit is uh, the one day, 30 minute, the, the interval basically. Uh, the timestamp is when it was sent. Uh, it's an Unix uh, epoch timestamp. Uh, you might, you probably don't need this at all, but it, remember it is an Unix uh, timestamp. It is not uh, your, uh, it's not like central standard time or Eastern standard time. And then this confirmed is the this confirmed uh, part. Uh, it's basically a yes or no. Um, it's a Boolean. And then the signal update is, I um, uh, can't remember what the signal update, but we'll, we'll go over that in a sec. Um, but what you can do with the text is you can basically type in, let's say, oh, a signal update is actually long or short, uh, but we'll do, um, let's say, pair triggered a long on the time unit. So this will trigger, this will basically say BTC USDT or yeah, BTC USDT triggered a long on the 30 minute interval, for example. And it will automatically replace this on every single trigger. So you'll just hit okay. And um, we'll actually test it out here. We run it once and you can test it out by clicking that button again and it will go through and you can see it's sent btc triggered along on one day so this is how you set up in general how you set up all these little triggers now like i said you can use you can delete this module and you can send it to telegram telegram is a little harder to set up you need to set up a bot um and it's, I'll actually send out a, it's like a small guide. If you, you can probably even Google it, how to set up a bot on Telegram. Um, but you can, um, let me create a new connection. You have to have a token for the bot. And then uh, once you have the token, it'll, um, there's a chat ID um, that comes along with it. And you will just type in the chat ID. And then the text is where you will set up uh, the text as well. And then we'll just hit OK. And it will start sending it to the Telegram bot. The other question was how to send it to um, three commas or um, uh, or some of these other bots. I think Crypto Hopper. Um, there's there's a few other ones. In order to send to those uh, places, each one has a different set of uh, requests that you need to send it to them, and all of them use webhooks. Now we can't just start. I mean, we can. It's just right now it's time consuming, um, and this is like a very easy f way for everyone to use it. Um, in order to send a webhooks request from Integromat, uh, you basically send a get or post request. And you can do that by doing a um, HTTP. Um, just type in HTTP in the module, click HTTP, and then make a request. Now, from here, this URL is what's going to be coming from three commas. So when you set up a three comma, three commas, I think uh, you'd have to set up a trading view. Um, endpoints uh, it has an option for trading view signals and it gives you an url that url is where you'll send those requests to so if you type in um, uh, i'm just going to use google if you type in uh, that url in the um, url field set the get to where it is and then the query perimeter is what um, it, the three commas will actually send you uh, information on what the query should be um, and then um, so some of the um, it, the, the, let me actually pull up the documentation and that way we can go through it. So there's a tutorial on how to set these up. Um, it actually has the, you can see this query right here. Um, they take in different query types. This message right here can be copied into um, into right here. Um, so this JSON, it's looking for a JSON data. So it's looking for this JSON string and this JSON string is provided by three commas when you set it up. Um, when you set up the, the trading view hook, it'll send you, this is what the JSON data that three commas is looking for. It's the same thing with Crypto Hopper. It's the same thing with uh, some of these other platforms. You send a specific JSON data and some of these details can be modified uh, based on that. 
in order to modify it, um, you just go to Integromat and type in that specific JSON data, and then you replace those values with the pair um, with a signal update. You don't need a timestamp. I don't think you need a time unit either. You just replace those um, specific tokens in this JSON data with the ones that you want to replace. Now, the one thing that you have to remember is some of these um, platforms are looking for different triggers for different things. So. A long requires a different trigger, a long, short requires a, a different trigger. But we send um, the details through one webhook request. And to do that, uh, you'll actually have to split it. Um, there's a filtering right here, set up a filter. Works. Okay, we'll just do that. So there's a filter. Um, so we can do buy side condition signal update equals too long. So this filter will only send buy signals to that HTTP request. And you can have multiple different filters. Um, let me create another one. You can create another. You can create another module, another HTTP request. Get this to work. Okay, I have it set up over here, so we can look at it. Uh, um, I think we should create just a dedicated video so people can just see how to set up just a certain parts, like one for you know Telegram, yeah. one for Slack, one for free commas. Because a lot of people are gonna just want alerts for the free commas bot and they don't really care how to set up, you know, Telegram or Slack, but. So I had to set up with, uh, uh, there's a way to export and import blueprints and I had some uh, blueprints exported, but unfortunately, unless you pay for it, you can't uh, import blueprints and that's not in their documentation either. Um, but I will uh, create a video that way it's easier for people to follow. And if you are paying for it, you can import and export those blueprints. Um, but. In, in general, uh, I'll, I'll make a dedicated video for that, you're right. But in general, it's this is exactly how it's gonna work. You will set up the webhook and then you'll pass on that uh, HTTP request directly to three commas or um, whatever it is, uh, crypto hopper and so on and so forth. And it will be split up into buy and sell. Um, but we'll uh, create a video for that um, in this, uh, this week and we'll send that out. Um, but, yeah, no, you're right. We should uh, set up a dedicated video for that. Um, let's see. Okay, so the other part um, that we wanted to go over is uh, is actually Twitter. Uh, Twitter is going to be very important to us over the course of this next month. Um, we've tried to get people to tweet, uh, but it's a little hard. Uh, it seems like a lot of people don't have Twitter. Um, but if you do have a Twitter, whether you have followers or not, it doesn't really matter. Um, if you can just tweet everything about the platform that you can and hashtag Oroxnation Nation um, to Twitter, we'll be able to, we're, we're creating a marketing campaign around that. As long as you're tweeting hashtag Orox Nation, um, we'll take care of the rest. We'll push up your um, tweets, we'll get you some followers, we'll do everything possible in order to make sure that those tweets are seen by other people. So make sure that, you know, if you have a Twitter account once a day or starting basically this week, uh, once a day or once a week, you're tweeting Orox Nation, whether that's a chart, whether it's a image, logo, whatever it is, um, just tweet something out and we'll handle the rest. Um, crypto Twitter is huge. That's where a lot of people get their information from right now. Um, it's where all the new tokens are taking off and, and everything. It's, it's extremely beneficial for not just us, but for other projects as well. And that's why we're going to be focusing a lot on, um, on, on Twitter. And, um, we really need everyone's help. I mean, there's, uh, 900 and something holders right now. So make sure that you're using Twitter because that's where people are going to find new tokens. And right now, you know, we've had people that come in 
that said, oh yeah, you guys are not on Twitter. Um, we are, it just, we need more people talking about it. And the easy way for people to talk about that is, I mean, there's 900 of our own users are, I mean, just token holders. There's probably right now, I think we're at around 2000 plus to two to 3000 daily active traders. And, um, if you go to any other platform, a lot of platforms don't have that many users. Uh, I don't know, Taras used uh, Polo back in, was it 2018 or 17 or something like that, right? Yeah, Polo, the, the exchange. Yeah, do you remember when it had um, at the bottom, it showed like how many users were online? Ooh, that, that would have, I, I, I don't remember that, but I mean, yeah. it, it's really not that many traders on all the platforms. Um, even if you look at the top exchanges, they, they'll put out a graphic saying that they have 3000 users in the last 24 hours. You know, yeah. they're like a, they're almost, they're a billion dollar market cap plus. So we have the same amount of users as a lot of these top projects. It's just, we need all you guys to be vocal about it and tell your friends, blow it up on Twitter. And it's important to use the URS tag as well on your tweets. So yeah, yeah. dollar sign URS and then Orox Nation after that. And then we can, we can really promote that. And even if you don't have followers, if a lot of people are posting the hashtags, the hashtag starts get, uh, starts to trend. People from other coins start to pay attention. So, um, and the way we looked at Twitter is it doesn't even matter if you have followers or not. Sometimes Twitter just prioritizes your tweet over someone who has a lot of followers. So you'll be sitting at the top on some um, on some person's tweet that you just, you just responded to. So um, yeah. definitely, definitely, just if you have time, if you're on Twitter, just shoot out a few tweets. The more, the better. 10 tweets is better than one tweet, but you know, one tweet is better than zero. So just try to get as many as possible. Yeah, and the comments are, I mean, some of these people, uh, some of the influencers on there will like post like, uh, what is it? Like show me your token or so, some something like that. Uh, commenting on those and then hashtagging Orox Nation will make sure that your tweet goes up at the top. Um, we have people that are gonna be working on Twitter marketing this week, basically for the rest of this month and, and on to into the future. Um, so commenting, following those influencers and then seeing whatever they post and then commenting on that will push your comments to the top. Um, and then of course, as if you see someone else posting that comment and you see that like, and retweet their comment, cause that will also push it to the top 900 plus token holders should, I mean, most of these tweets have like the comments have like what 20, 30, uh, likes at the most. Imagine if 900 users went on Twitter and liked and commented on the same tweet under that influencer's tag. It's going to be pushed all the way to the top and everyone's going to see it. So it's very beneficial. I mean, if you're holding the token and you want more people to know about the token and want more people on the platform, it's a very, very easy. It takes absolutely no work on everyone, especially because we're going to be doing a lot of work to boost uh, the, the, the views on, on those tweets as well. So. Um, get on Twitter, um, help us out. This is a group community call. I mean, this is the one thing that uh, we really are looking forward to and we really need. So make sure you get on Twitter and uh, start using those hashtags. Uh, we're going to do everything possible to make sure that it's highly visible on Twitter uh, over the next few weeks. Um, but yeah, like on uh, the, the reason I mentioned Polo is uh, I remember back in the day when we, I was on Polo it was like two to 300 users online uh, at the same time. And we have much more than that on our terminal at once. So, and Polo was doing like what, tens of millions of dollars in volume per day. Um, so the amount of users that we have currently on the platform using it every single day is more than when Polo was in its limelight back in the day. And I think what they sold for, uh, I think it was like a billion dollars to circle or something like that back in the day. Yeah, something crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then they were doing ten to twenty million dollars a day per pair, which is crazy. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, so yeah. And, and one more thing before, um, it, it would really help, like on Twitter, if you set your alerts to alert you anytime someone uses the URS or RX Nation hashtag. So then you just get a notification. It pops up. You quickly uh, like it, retweet it. Um, the more people that we have doing that, you know, if someone makes a comment and half our community gets the notification they like and retweet it within the first couple minutes that really gets the twitter algorithm going to push it to the top as well so yeah. timing matters so don't just you know like if you go through the 
if you go on Twitter once a day just to like some comments and tweets, that that helps. But what really helps is you know set your alerts for our hashtags, and then when they when when, when the tweets come out, just retweet, like, comment. It'll it'll push it up. Yeah, I mean that's uh, what they're. I mean, it was what was it? Some I, I don't even want to mention their name, but it was some scam token that basically took off uh, took off on Twitter trending, not just on crypto Twitter, but on Twitter trending. Um, it was a couple nights ago. Um, it pumped to like I think it was like up like two three hundred percent before the owners basically who pre mined everything dumped it on everyone. Um, so it's like. Twitter is very powerful. Um, it's, uh, I mean, once you start getting trending, especially within the crypto community on Twitter, it's really, there's all eyes on it. Uh, influencers will start looking at it. Uh, normal, regular users will look at it. And what that translates into is more users on our platform. And why, and one of the things that we didn't do right now is focus on Twitter and uh, influencers is because um, our platform, we, we were migrating. And um, if you guys have noticed over the past uh, three or four days, the platform's loading faster. Um, it, you're not having those disconnecting issues, stuff like that. Uh, we're about 50%, uh, I want to say. Maybe our, my developer has a different um, uh, different stance on it, but I think we're about 50 to 60% done with the migration. Um, everything right now is most of the things are stable over the next week we're going to be fully migrated to a scalable infrastructure which means we'll be able to support more users everything's going to be a lot faster a lot easier to use so right now it's extremely imperative that everyone starts promoting as hard as possible uh getting people on the terminal because it will be um it will be quick it'll be easy to use and uh, I mean, eventually that drives up the price as well because of the demand that comes from the token. Um, so get on Twitter, like Tara said, um, subscribe to those um, those hashtags. That way, you know when they're uh, happening. Yeah. Um, and then, um, and then also the same thing goes for Facebook. If you're in crypto groups right. on Facebook, just make a post about yours daily. Um, the more you post about it, the more people are going to see it. And, you know, if, if people are constantly talking about a coin on Facebook in one of these groups, and even if it's not getting any likes or comments, just because people are scrolling, they see one person talking about the second, third, fourth, eventually they're going to comment uh, on one of these, uh, one of these posts and one of the posts will start trending and get a lot of attention. So just, you know, just put it out there. Even if it's not getting comments or likes, it's still really hoping it out. And then when people do find the project, they're going to go back. They're going to go into groups. They're going to search for our token name. They're going to search for on Twitter. They're going to see that a lot of people are talking about it so or asking about the token. So it, it, it just really helps out a anywhere you can. Facebook, Twitter is important. Yeah. So, yeah, um, this really this week we're going to be pushing. If you're on Telegram and Discord, we're going to be constantly talking about Twitter. Um, Twitter and influencers is going to be a constant talk over the course of the next few weeks. Um, so make sure you're on there and uh, please, please retweet and comment on those uh, tweets and Facebook and, and, and everywhere. Um, it's a community effort at this point. Everyone's kind of invested in the project, looking for the future. So it's, it's really a community effort. Um, having 900 people that are holding it. Actually, there's more because some of the Holders uh, have uh, the ones that have staking or liquidity mining. Those tokens are locked into one address. So there's more than 900 holders. I would imagine there might be like a few, uh, like uh, over a thousand at this point, maybe uh, 1,500, 1,200, 1,300. I don't know exactly. But um, the ones that are staking and uh, liquidity mining, those tokens do not appear um, in, uh, in the holders uh, because they're all in one single address. Um, so anyways, there's a lot of people get involved help us out. Um, let's answer a few questions here. Uh, Tech Dolphin, uh, is there a plan to migrate liquidity to Uniswap version three when it comes out? If yes, how does it affect the liquidity mining program? Um, yes, there is a plan to migrate liquidity to Uniswap version three. And this is another thing that kind of um, sets up what we want to do over the next uh, few weeks, which is you know moving uh, liquidity to uh, BitMax and uh, some of these other exchanges. 
Um, Uniswap version three will not require as much liquidity um, as Uniswap version two, because you can lock in the liquidity between a certain price point. So let's say you can have a million dollars at uh, $18 and a million dollars at $20. So the basically all the liquidity is locked in at those price points instead of being you know all over uh, the entire price area. That means there is a lot less liquidity required uh, for a token to have a very stable uh, price um, and for people to be able to purchase it. So that way, um, when we do migrate, there's gonna be less liquidity required on those markets. But that, that really doesn't really, uh, I mean, I guess that doesn't answer your question directly, but our uh, plan will be to create, uh, to modify our current smart contract to accept the, the new the LP tokens, the Uniswap V3 LP tokens. And we will tell all the users to uh, withdraw the liquid or withdraw the liquid. Actually, we might actually transfer the liquidity ourselves using a smart contract, but um, the liquidity will transfer over to you know, Swap version three, all of it, uh, ours and the users. And um, the the new smart contract for liquidity mining will utilize the, the new LP tokens. So everything will be kind of immediately transferred over and the liquidity mining program will continue as uh, as as it does currently um, how do i get these tokens uh right now you can get it on uswap and by laxi um this week we're hoping that it will be uh available on bitmax or sendex um so you'll be able to purchase there as well um you can't mine it it's on the ethereum chain so it's um i mean it's you can liquidity mine them but you Kind of require tokens to do that. Purchased ETH six days ago, and since then, I tried three times a day to swap, but it remains pending for hours, and nothing happens. Slippage tolerance, gas price. Um, that gas price might be low because um, gas price has been kind of relatively high. Let me check what it is now. But I've also had this happen with one of my uh, one of my wallets. And for some reason, I couldn't get any transactions through at all for a swap. So I just transferred all those, uh, all the ETH over to a new wallet, and then it, it just went through. So oh, yeah. uh, there was an issue with orders getting stuck that had nothing to do with gas. Um, you might have that issue. Or you might your issue might be that the gas fees are low. I know I was trying like hundred dollar plus gas fees, and it was still not going through. It was still uh, stuck. So um, you could try sending it to a new wallet. And then, yeah, I think some uh, some people had this issue with interacting with our um, our um, our smart contracts too, uh, with the transaction pending forever. Uh, one of the things that people were able to do is by resetting, because I'm guessing that's what Tara's happened to you as well, uh, resetting the MetaMask account. And if you just Google uh, resetting MetaMask, um, there is a the first thing that comes up is the MetaMask uh, guide on that. Um, if you reset your wallet, it should work. If not, like Tara said, transferring it to a different uh, wallet might work as well. Yes, the token is yours. Uh, it's available on Uniswap. Um, if you go to our website and go to the token website, the buy, uh, there's a buy button and it will redirect you to, um, the, to the yours token. Uh, we already covered this part. Um, and here's uh, on Bilaxi. Um, yeah, so we'll uh, create a video specifically for this, but in general, you'll set up the webhooks, go to Integromat, um, receive them, and then send it through HTTP request to uh, three commas. And that will be the same basically for, we'll just do it for three commas because that's what most people use, but that's gonna be the same kind of setup for three or crypto hopper some of these other ones they all um, allow webhooks uh, requests to be sent to them um yeah so the only ones uh, the only wallets that will be able to vote uh, will be the the wallets that today actually before this video started um those are the only wallets that are going to be i mean other wallets can vote uh but those are the only wallets that are going to be taken into a, uh, account uh for the voting system itself. Um, yes, you can set an alert. We actually just covered that. You need the URIS token in order to um, 
in order to access uh, the alerts. Uh, it's at the bottom scanner, click alerts. And if you have uh, tokens in your wallet, you'll be able to uh, access the alerts and not just tokens in your wallet. If you're staking them or liquidity mining, it will check those as well. So there's not really a governance uh, inside the inside the token. Um, we sh I guess in hindsight, we should have added that. Uh, we might uh, create a governance uh, token later on and uh, not anytime soon, but potentially later on as we get more into development. Uh, and uh, but right now it's just going to be just straight up uh, from your wallet, uh, from your token address. We'll send out details about this uh, probably tomorrow because we want to get this started as soon as possible. Let's see. Yeah, so the um, if you have the uh, the tokens, you'll be able to get alerts. Um, like I said, you know, there's a guide. Let me, there's a guide I just posted in the comments. You can go over it and uh, read about it. Um, as far as placing automatic uh, buys and sell orders, uh, we don't really recommend it unless you know what you're doing. The indicator is just one part of an algorithm um, or a strategy. You need a strategy. We've laid out a few strategies in the past. Um, so make sure you read those guides and learn about it. So the business model is dependent on Rock's trade and lend. Um, those systems are where it's going to turn profit for our company. Right now, our company is not turning profit because it's still, I mean, our profit maker is coming later on, but that does not mean that we don't want users on the platform. The more users that are on the terminal now, the more profitable the company will be in the future. As Orox Trade comes out or as Orox Lend comes out, there's going to be fees associated with that. Um, it's not going to be a lot, but there are going to be some fees associated with that. And that's where the profit, uh, that's where the business model comes in. Uh, the terminal itself will be kept free. There's going to be some items that are going to require the URS token, but um, the 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 main money generator will be Orox Trade and Lend. And this is discussed in our white paper as well. Um, so it's possible for us to reactivate it. I need to look into how um, we can set up a private channel for token holders. I'm not exactly sure um, how it will work uh, since Telegram. Uh, I'll look into this. Um, I, I need to look into how it's possible uh, to set up a private Telegram channel where only token holders can join. I'm not exactly sure how that can be done, though, uh, but I'll look into it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Everyone needs to start pitching in. Um, like Tara said, like I said, hashtag that, get people involved, get people on the platform. Some of the some of the our users have been doing a good job, though. Uh, I've seen a few users that are promoting our terminal outside, uh, outside our own promotion, but we need more users. I mean, there's 1,500 to 2,000 people minimum online, even on the weekends. Uh, the weekends are usually slower, but 1,500 to 2,000 users online every Sunday and Saturday. There's like up to 3,000 users on uh, on Mondays and Tuesdays and stuff. And we're adding about 100 to 150 daily active users every single week. So we really need people to get involved, spread the word. I mean, we, we're doing, we're gonna be doing this with influencers and stuff like that. But considering there's so many people on our platform, it should be very easy for us to spread the word uh, as a community. Um, so the stickers, uh, we actually received like, it was like 600 or so requests, uh, which was a lot more than I expected. Uh, we just got some new stickers in. Um, all those will be sent out uh, this early next week. Uh, people in Europe might not receive it uh, for a little while. Um, I don't know exactly what the delivery rate is like in uh, from United States to Europe, or I guess Asia as well, um, and some in South America and some of these other places that we um, got requests from. But um, in the United States, you should probably receive it before the end of this this upcoming week. Um, maybe Europe will, and the rest of the the world is going to receive it uh, the following week. Uh, but once you receive those tokens. Again, this goes back to spreading awareness. Um, once you receive those uh, stickers, take a picture, put it somewhere, take a picture, hashtag 
Orox Nation and post it on Twitter, Facebook, wherever. Um, and then those hashtags, we're actually going to gather information. We can do it. There's bots that can gather those, that information. And then one person will be entered into a drawing to win um, the, 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 the rest of the $250 in US tokens. Um, I mean, there's not really a price. This is something that we're hoping that it's a community effort. If you're owning the token, if you're using the platform, um, I imagine that's kind of <laughs> enough that, of a prize for you to be tweeting about us. Um, I mean, we've, you know, if you're holding the token, you want more people to own the token and use the platform too. So it's really, that is the price on in, in, in itself. Yes, the crypto coin uh, trader group is a great place for uh, people to promote. Um, we have an Instagram page at Tars. Do you know if uh, we're still? Yeah, we have it, but it's not really active. We don't we don't post on there. The problem with Instagram is you need to post a picture with every single update, and it just gets too much. Sometimes you know we need to release just a couple sentences, tweet something. So Instagram doesn't really make sense to um, for us to use. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, um, it's, I think it's, it's starting to uh, look better and better as we migrate to a scalable infrastructure. So um, the next uh, few weeks, it's going to be actually, I think that we're going to be wrapping up some of the, uh, probably the next week, we're going to be wrapping up most of our uh, um, uh, scalability stuff. Um, Charles, um, are you by any chance using Firefox? If you are, can you send me a message on Telegram or uh, Discord um, or whatever browser you're using? Just send me a message and I'll take a look at it. Yeah, um, we're actually, we've already reached out to some influencers. Um, they're starting this week. Um, one of them is pretty, pretty big in this field um we've booked him we're booking him for the next uh several months um there's other influencers that we're speaking to we're going to be booking them over the next several months as well so there's going to be a lot more talk going on again we waited uh, up until this point because our servers were getting hammered uh literally every monday um you guys probably have noticed that for the past several weeks every monday as soon as uh, it becomes eight o'clock AM in United States uh, time. The platform just starts getting hammered and uh, we have some connectivity issues, but that won't happen starting tomorrow. You won't see that problem again. Um, Facebook ad, we might've ran Facebook ads a long time ago, unless you're new to our platform, but maybe someone else is <laughs> running Facebook ads for us. Maybe uh, there, there's been some posts on some Facebook pages and stuff that might yeah. uh, people are spreading news about us. So might have yeah. been an ad. Um, no, we'll uh, from TV to oh from TV to uh, yes, um, Pine Script was we were like fifty percent in development. Actually, more than fifty percent. We try to integrate Pine Script for like two and a half years. <laughs> Uh, one developer was working on that constantly to reverse engineer their uh, their language uh, structure. Um, the code is there. Uh, we just haven't had the chance to finish it. Um, I'm hoping that before the end of the year we can, but until then, uh, we had to pause that uh, for the time being. But until then, um, if you send me the, the scripts that you want added, it takes our developer like an hour to add, to add these scripts to our platform. Um, so if you just send me the script, as um, soon as we are finished with the migration and optimizing everything, we'll start integrating some uh, user um, uh, user suggested scripts. So just send me a link to the one that you want added um, and then I'll add it to our backlog and we'll try to uh, do that. I mean, there's a bunch of them that are right now pending. Um, so we'll go through that one at a time and probably every week we'll have a few uh, community-based uh, scripts added to our uh, platform. Um, DeFi apes, yes. Um, so we're this is going to be a huge marketing push again, um, and we need the community's help. We're going to be doing it on our own, but we need we also need the community's help. Uh, we're going to set up a new page for DeFi apes because it's going to be a major functionality for our platform, and it's something that's going to get people excited. Um, it's going to be a landing page. It's going to describe what the DeFi apes platform is, how to get access to it. 
I'm going to add some viral uh, techniques and uh, advertising to that as well. Um, the back end is done. We need to now test it, modify it, make sure that it works properly, and then we'll integrate it into the front end. But having said that, even though the back end is done, we will not add it until we're going to wait about 30 days until we actually add it to the platform. And those 30 days are done specifically because we want to create as much traction around that functionality as possible. So we're going to be testing it in-house. And once it's ready, we're going to put up that website and we're going to start advertising everywhere. And then we're going to release it to everyone. Um, it's going to be probably one of the more in domain functionalities and we want to create some uh, FOMO and, uh, and viral uh, uh, campaigns around it. Yeah, I think uh, a good thing could be we, we give a, a few people access to it um, who, you know, really spread the news and really share, share it so people are more, uh, what do you say, more willing to share it, more willing to spread all the news and then, you know, get a sneak peek yeah. into the platform and how it works. Yeah, uh, we'll probably, yeah, some of the influencers that we're going to have on board, they're probably going to get it first uh, just so they can take pictures and and get everyone involved. Um, and then after 30 days, uh, we'll make it available for everyone. But it's going to be, I think it's going to be one of the main functionalities uh, that people are going to be looking forward to. Um, from your My Ether, I think you can link up your Ether wallet to uh, MetaMask. I could be wrong, but my Ether wallet does not have a Web3 functionality. It can't. It has some decentralized applications within it, um, but I it doesn't have every one of them. And obviously, our decentralized application is is not supported by them. Um, but I think you can link that up, your my Ether wallet up to your MetaMask. If I'm maybe I'm mistaken, but you need a Web3 wallet in order to interact with the staking portal. Uh, let's see. Unidex bot is doing it. I'm not sure what they're doing, um, but I mean, uh, maybe Philip, if you can iterate what they're doing and we can uh, talk about it. Uh, yes, David, um, there, if you go to help.getrocks.com, there's a lot of guides in there. Um, they're also sent via email. Um, but if you just go to help.getorocks, there's sections about uh, how to um, use the indicators and how to trade. And we've actually done a TA video um, in the past. So Taurus has and uh, one of our other users, Roland, uh, discussed it. There's two strategies that we've gone over um, on how to trade. Actually, there's multiple strategies within the guides. There's the higher interval strategy and then there's the lower interval strategies. Um, so they can be very beneficial to you. Um, one inch doesn't, the, Tars, am I mistaken or one inch does not have an order book? I don't, I I don't, don't think, I know one inch allows, um, limit orders. Yeah, but I've never but seen I'm, an order book from them. Okay. Yeah, I don't, uh, Tech Dolphin, I'm, can you send a link of where you see the order book? Um, cause I haven't, I haven't seen it from there. But we are actually going to be integrating into one inch. The order form, it's probably going to be done at the end of this month. Uh, um, and it's going to be directly within uh, Orox. Um, so you'll be able to link your MetaMask wallet or whatever wallets and place orders directly uh, in and out of Uniswap. And actually, you know, however many, let's see how many exchanges they support. Um, 51 decentralized exchanges. So. Uh, we'll be able to automatically support 51 decentralized exchanges through our order form. Um, so we had a few people reach out, um, but unfortunately just not, it, it wasn't a lot uh, of them. Uh, we still want people to reach out to these influencers uh, that run Discord, Telegram channels and use our charting software within them. There's a couple that are doing it, uh, but we need more. Uh, I mean, it's basically free money, not only for 
our users to start promoting it to these uh, owners of the large Discord and Telegram channels, but for the owners themselves. Uh, they're not making any money from having Telegram and Discord, and this is an easy way for us to pay them uh, a monthly retainer to use our terminal within their system. No, um, you need to, once you purchase the URS token on a, on a centralized exchange, you will have to transfer that over to a MetaMask wallet in order to be able to use it within the system. Um, yes, we did a TA video on it. Um, we've actually done multiple uh, pre-recorded videos as well. They're again, they're in help.getorocks.com. Yes, uh, we've talked about this in our other videos as well. Perfect, yeah, so glad that worked for you. Um, seems like it's, uh, you, some people have to reset their wallet sometimes, it's a little weird. Ah, okay, uh, we'll check it out, um, I'll look into it. Yeah, Philip, uh, one inch does allow limit orders, but I've never seen, uh, maybe I'm, I'm not looking at the right area, but it does not, um, it does not um, uh, does not have an order book. Uh, their limit orders are on chain, and I think if I'm not mistaken, they route them through zero x. Uh, but it doesn't have actually a limit. It doesn't have a, an order book in the same sense. It's basically a smart contract that sits on the chain and uses an oracle uh, to execute uh, those limit orders. Um, my Telegram is at Georgi lowercase or uh, here actually I'll put it in here that's my telegram if you want to send me a message um, that's actually a good question um, I hadn't thought about that. Um, I mean, we're gonna allow people to vote if they've already purchased them. Just send me a message that way um, I can potentially whitelist you uh, for the voting, uh, but I'll have to handle these cases uh, case at a time. Yes, uh, trust, wallet, trust Wallet will work as well. And um, yeah. Um, Taurus, do you want to pull up, I guess, BNB and we can take a look at it. Um, and at the same time, if anyone has any questions about TA, the ones that we've uh, talked about, um, DI, uh, DMI, um, RSI, volume profile, any of those things that someone has a question on, this is probably your time. Uh, we're probably going to wrap it up here um, right after this TA. So if you have any questions about the indicators themselves, um, we're going to try to cover this in the next 10 minutes and then, uh, and then call the end of the video. Um, so leave your comments in the, in the comment section and we'll uh, start uh, uh, our TA section. Cool. So yeah, I just pulled up my screen. I actually need to take a look at BNB real quick because I haven't been charting it. I haven't really been trading much at all since our coin launch because it's been hectic but let's let's take a look at it on a on a larger time frame first we'll... okay. in the tech dolphin real quick uh there is um the only benefit is you're kind of um the, I mean, the only benefit is you're receiving that APY for longer than uh, 40 months. So yeah, there is a maximum of 20% uh, APY, APY, but you know, locking it for longer, you're going to keep receiving that APY for a longer period of time. Yeah. So the first thing that I see with with Binance, it hit $500 today. That's pretty crazy. Um, so I don't know if the Binance had some news where they're doing something with a token that's really making them that's making people really buy it up maybe it's like to come whatever it is i'm just gonna take a look specific just just on the chart so what i see here we we made this crazy run from 40 dollars to about 300 and then we started consolidating at the highs 
because the, the previous highs before this, I mean, I don't think they were even close. So we are consolidating at the highs. And when you have a, a really big run up and you start consolidating at the highs, that's really bullish. So as soon as we started getting close to the nine EMA, we and we were consolidating for over a month at the highs, we we had our next crazy run up. Um, and we can go to to the daily. You can really show can really show it here. So we had the run. And oh, just a um, quick thing, using the nine EMA, you can see that every time that the price pulls away from it, it goes back down to the nine EMA. So in a bullish market, when the price is running, you're gonna notice that we're above the nine EMA, we're running. And then when we test the nine EMA, that's usually a bounce spot. So we touch the nine EMA, we bounce again. I mean, nobody can really predict a move like this from 100 to 350 in the course of three days, that's that's really crazy. But so we had it, we, we had this run up. So it looks like we went from, let's see, we had a 700% gain in the course of, not within February, just February. Days. Yeah. yeah, 19 days. So once we had this crazy run up, we, we consolidated, we kept consolidating and you know, the longer that we consolidate up here, the more likely we are going to um, go back up, keep go keep running up, and the longer we're going to run. So if we consolidated only for, for this period and then we kept running, this move would have been a lot weaker if we went from, if we continued running here, then we, then we held here for over a month and then we started moving. So you can see that since we consolidated for a while, this move has been really really strong and i personally uh i would wait to buy until we get close to the 90 ma like yes it might continue running might continue running to 600 dollars, but the price always returns back to the 9 ema and if you're if you're looking to get in um it's it might be same, a little too late it might be a little too late and, and it's dangerous right it's came up so much it's at 500 dollars but I don't know, maybe Binance released some deflationary news where they're burning coins or they're paying people um, some revenues. We, we don't know if news is causing this drive or if there's some acquisitions going on. So um, it, it, it's just tough. But but yeah, that's, that's the one thing that I see. So um, being here, I would wait. So let's say we get to $500. We, we hang out here. We go sideways again. The same thing, you know, we dip and we hold here. Then most likely, short of an entire market crash, we're going to continue going up after that. So we would we'll, we'll continue going up, most likely, if we consolidate in this area. And the longer we consolidate, the better. So we'll see. People have to start taking some profit soon just because it's up so much. Yeah. So... I mean, it's the same, same thing with uh, Bitcoin is uh, people are panicking every time it hits that 60,000 and drops back down. Um, yeah. It's really just people, it's it's just trading sideways is a good thing. Uh, if it just keeps going up and up and up, um, that's how you have the 2018 crash uh, when it went from like 9,000 to 20,000 in like a couple days. Yeah. You, you, what you don't want to see is a blow off top. So let's, we keep running, it goes crazy up and then it gets slammed down. Like, you know, you lose like 40% in a, in a day. That's usually, that's, that's not good. And then that's when you can see um, a bear market, but I'm, I'm just charting this out where I can, where I see some buy areas. If I was buying this, if we pulled, if we pulled back. So these two would be my buy area. So between, I would buy, let's say buy a BNB gets below two hundred dollars. That's a really good spot to buy it. Um, that that would be. I would set my first orders between three thirty to two seventy. I would load up lightly and then dollar cost average, um, right right below here around two fifteen to one thirty five, and that's assuming if we go down. If we keep going higher from over 500 then these buy areas won't work so let's say we go we go up to here these buy areas will also move up so we have to see what 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 it's going to do so 
if we consolidate up uh, at the top, we're most likely gonna keep running up. If we pull back, these are our, our buy zones. If we keep running right now, it invalidates everything that I just drew on the chart. So, um, I think there was another, uh, let's see. Um, can you take a look at wing or FLM? Yeah, and the thing is with these smaller coins, um, the TA doesn't really work on them. Like you, the top five, top 10 can still work. But um, as, as we get down here, um, these are just... Uh, it's pretty th low volume. They're, yeah, well, a million, what is it? There's really not much we can say here. This is not a chart you can trade. You, you want a chart that's trending up. So it's the, you, you, there's really not much you can do here. Um, it looks like it's at the lowest it's been. <laughs> yeah. And you, usually, um, you know, when, when we want to see a bottom, it's we want something to wick down and get really bought back up. Looking yeah. all of this, we, we haven't really had any crazy um, buys. Um, well, when we dropped, it, it just keeps sitting flat. So... With this token, let me just draw draw it on the chart. So if we just go sideways here, people might think that we're bottomed out, but that's not good. We want people stepping in to buy. So if we start going sideways here, most likely we're going to continue heading down. It's kind of like how we're showing on Binance. If we consolidate at the highs, we're going to keep going up. This is the same thing. So if we consolidate at the bottom... Uh, at new lows and we're not uh, getting it down, it's going to most likely keep going down i think you're on uh, you're on wing uh, uh you're on wings not wing oh, okay let's see wings you're on wings so he's talking about wing oh, wing uh it's still a little down yep. wing btc uh let's take a look at this Mm. So it looks like they just launched, right? And then all the pre-sellers, investors, um, yeah. influencers have dumped and it's been consolidating. So um, this wouldn't be a trade that you take. This would be more of an investment. So if you believe in the company long term and you want to take this trade because you think that in the future it's going to go up, this is an investment. Uh, an investment. So you buy it and then you wait. You wait for it to go up. Um, you're not really waiting for for an entry uh, for it to dip. You take this entry, and then we're gonna run. Like if we dip, it, we we might not even get a bounce for a next for another month. We might consolidate down here, you know. And opportunity cost is a real thing in crypto, so you don't want to, you know. If they're gonna be consolidating at the lows for a while, I mean, I don't know. If, Pretty much, it's an investment, not not really a trading trading spot. I don't know anything about the uh, the company, so if we do break over this, though, we're we're sitting right at res uh, right at resistance. So if we do break over this and volume steps in, then it could um, it could be good. So let's just see some some key points to watch, and I'd like to chart all my alts against uh against bitcoin unless it's like ethereum or binance some top alts that are a bit more decoupled from bitcoin so yeah i mean if we hold it we hold above 1100 sats we start closing some candles up here above 1100 we start having some volume step in and you know we start going like this and then we can eventually eventually go back up but we can also break down um yep. this is a tough one um philip we can't chart our own token um because it's uh not we can't really predict our own prices um it's kind of against uh usa law um but uh let's see we can do one more and then uh, she looks good so sushi looks exactly like um like wing right hold on We sushi had that dump consolidated. It broke uh, as soon as it broke above resistance. It it had that run up, and this is actually looking like something where we could take a trade. So I'll draw my fib from this to here, and we're actually getting close to the buy zone on sushi. So I would 
place my buy orders if I was trading sushi or looking for an entry. This is actually could be a good long term entry in this area. So between 2200 sats and 1700 sats. I want to say if, if we do hit down here, most of the time we're going to be bouncing out of this zone. A lot of traders are waiting for sushi to hit this, this zone right here. Uh, between 2200 actually 2300 sats and 1700 um let's just uh, draw it a little more so all the way down to 1100 yeah um this is this this would be a good entry for sushi so it's, it's getting pretty close and then most likely we're going to bounce and then you have to decide where you want to uh, take your profit mm. Let's see. What else are we? What I think, else? Uh, I think uh, we should just wrap it up, um, and we'll uh, potentially put on an actual dedicated TA video um, on next weekend um, because there was a lot of stuff that we went over. But um, yeah, let's just wrap it up here. Um, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, just to kind of go over what we talked about, uh, there's going to be a voting that's going to take place either Monday or Tuesday. Uh, that is going to be about uh, the proposal that we put out. Uh, the voting will be based on your token address. Uh, we're trying to still figure out the details on that. Um, if you purchase the token before today um, or before this video started, you'll be able to vote in it. Uh, it'll be a simple yes or no. Uh, yes will be whether or not we should transfer 50,000 uh, or some of the liquidity uh, over the course of the next few, uh, few weeks or a few months. Uh, to, a cent to centralized exchanges, it will be done in, in increments. So don't think that we're just withdrawing the entire liquidity. That's not the case. Uh, the first, it will be tens of thousands of dollars at the most. Uh, we're not talking hundreds of thousands. We're not talking a million. Um, it will be a, a small amount of liquidity that's going to be withdrawn that's going to be transferred to centralized exchanges. Uh, with that is going to come the marketing, the advertising, and so on and so forth from the exchange itself. Um, and then from the influencers that we're hiring as well. Um, that uh, proposal will be uh, enacted this week if it passes. Um, if it doesn't, then we'll have to figure out some, some other solution. Um, so watch out for those emails. It'll be in Telegram, it'll be in Discord. Um, we'll post it everywhere we can. Um, everyone that votes in it, uh, whether you, you vote yes or no, you will be will airdrop you one token. So that's basically twenty dollars for free uh, for voting. Um, that will come from our own pockets. It's not coming from our tokens. It's coming from us purchasing the tokens off the market, um, and we'll send that to everyone that's that votes on it. The link and everything will be available in the emails. It's not available right now. It will be available um, in uh, in the email either tomorrow or Tuesday. Uh, that's the first thing. Alerts. Uh, we went over alerts and how to set those up, but we will um, go over alerts. And um, I'll try to figure out the Telegram thing, um, set up a private group for uh, token users so they don't have to do it on their own. And then um, also how to send those alerts to three commas um, and uh, what else? Uh, Crypto Hopper and, and all those places. And then we finally went uh, the, the main thing um, if you don't take anything from this video is help us out with uh, Twitter and Facebook. We're going to be sending out, uh, I mean, we're going to be focusing a lot on social media uh, because our platform now can support a lot more users, uh, uh, active users. At a, at a, and it's really important that we push users to the platform from here on out. So if you're on Twitter, Facebook, hashtag Orox Nation on anything and everything you can. Um, if you need a graphic designed, um, send us a message. We're actually working on a few graphics that are going to be sent out. Um, and you can reuse those graphics, post them everywhere, post them in comments uh, when Twitter influencers are posting it everywhere. Just your only job, if you want people to uh, talk about the token, use the token, talk about it yourself. That way everyone else knows about it. And we're going to be doing everything in our power in order to push your comments to the top. Um, we have over probably over a thousand token holders. So there's a lot of people that are in this community, uh, that are taking part in this community and we need to kind of come together at this point and uh, make sure that uh, more people are getting involved. So please uh, make sure you do those things. Uh, we'll try to organize some campaigns ourselves. Um, that way we can all uh, together uh, promote uh, the terminal and uh, therefore the token.
Yeah. Um, and everything that we just said with the TA, it's not financial advice. It's just, yeah. um, just, just taking a look. It's all educational. I'm not taking any trades based on what I just, what I just told you guys. So, um, yeah, just pay attention to it, how it plays out. Yep. Um, all right. Thanks everyone. Um, look out for that. Uh, there's going to be a couple emails this week. Um, pay attention. Um, and thanks for joining. Uh, you guys have a great week, rest of your weekend and, uh, talk soon. Thanks, thanks everyone. See you.